Welcome back. Previously we've been adding WhatsApp to our profile. In this tutorial we're going to focus on adding Hangouts uh, slash SMS system and Facebook messages. Half of the work we already have done, uh, creating two initial profiles. Now we just need to multiply them and uh, change the parameters. So let's long press on the profile, select clone and let's rename it to something more appropriate. For me it's gonna be received Facebook. We are also going to do the same with the clear WhatsApp profile. We're just going to clone it and rename it to clear Facebook. Now, once this is done, we have to modify our task. We're going to copy them as well. So select the task, clone it, and change the W to F, standing for Facebook. And do the same with a clear profile. Just select it, clone it, and rename it to something more appropriate. I'm just going to change the sorting system to make it easier to see our actions. So you'll see that we already done a lot of work. All we have to do is just modify it. We're going to create separate file name for the Facebook messages. I call it Facebook TXT. And also remember to add spice when you append the file. Now run through each task and modify the name of our variables, replacing WhatsApp with Facebook. Please make sure you're gonna use capital F when you're entering in variables lowercase f for file names. At this stage I'm not going to change anything else, just going to replace this. You have to be very accurate when you're doing so. Basically we're going to create three profiles that will act in the same way. They're going to intercept messages and they're going to clear them when we need to. Once this is completed, you can have a look on your variables and you should see only three variables there right now. If you have more variables or if they spell differently, you have to go back and correct your mistakes. Now we need to modify the event type. We're just going to change WhatsApp notification app to Messenger instead. So select the messenger and untick WhatsApp. Also we need to add a new task to the profile. So select different task and select received Facebook. We're going to repeat entire thing again with a clearing notification. We're going to uncheck the WhatsApp and select Messenger. Once this is done, I'm going to select different task, which is clear F for Facebook. Next, I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to clone the task and select Hangout. I'm gonna speed up the video so you wouldn't sit in here for ages. Just make sure to replace the variables and the file names accordingly.
Once this is done, we have to link newly created tasks and we have to swap the applications from WhatsApp to Hangouts. If you have Hangouts set to your default messaging application, it will handle your incoming text messages as well. Otherwise, you have to create new profile in exactly the same way. Now we're going to modify our read task as it has to read all three types of messages all together. So we're going to do again some copy and pasting. I'm going to select read file and multiply it. By now you should realize why it makes sense to keep your variable naming in check as this allows you for easily modifying your content and your profiles. Each time message is received, Tasker will store them in current messages variable. So we need to make right now Tasker to read them out loud for us. We also want to make sure that once the messages are read, we're going to clear our variables. So to do so, we're going to perform cleaning tasks we said previously. I'm going to clone the perform task clear variable and rename it to our tasks. It's going to be clear f and clear h for hangout. Lastly, we're going to modify our say command. First of all, we're going to make it not say the command unless the variable is set. So for WhatsApp, I'm going to se select variable current messages W for WhatsApp and make sure this plays only when the variable is set. I'm going to duplicate it another two times and each time changing the variable name to corresponding applications. Setting your profile that way will assure that the message is played only when there is a pending message to be played. I'm going to have last final look on our variable and they should look this way. If you have more of them, you have to correct your mistakes. In the next tutorial, we're going to streamline messaging system and allow messages to be uploaded and synchronized with other devices. See you in the next part of the tutorial.